Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Uninjon Dan La Vie, also known as Little Indian, or An Indian in the City. This movie is directly from France. This game is Europe only. And this movie served as the inspiration for the 1996 Tim Allen movie, Jungle to Jungle. Roger Ebert didn't like either one of these movies, as far as I could tell. This game was developed by Titus, who made a lot of games for Europe until they shut down. And we have a simple title screen, no music, all the credits are here. As soon as you press start, we find out that we are in World 1-1. If the numbers on the lower right hand corner are anything to be believed. There are five worlds with two levels each and once you get through all of them you get through the game. Press start again we now have our gameplay screen. We are playing as Mimi Siku. I believe that is the main character's name. Left and right let you move around. B or A lets you jump. B lets you shoot the blow darts. Down lets you duck. And if you look use the select button by holding it down and hold it down while pressing and holding directions on the control pad you can look around this will come a little more handy later there's a snake we can hop on the snake to get some blow darts we can pick up pans for bonus stuff if we get enough stuff in the stage and we have five more blow darts there are hedgehogs we cannot jump on them so don't even try. If you need to get rid of them, use the blow darts. And if you hold A while jumping or hopping on certain enemies, you can get to higher areas. Like this, for instance. Of course, I'm still going to jump on the snakes regardless because I want to make sure that I have more than enough darts. You have a heads up display in the bottom of the screen. You have your current blow dart ammo. You have your current health. I believe you can have up to five hearts your current amount of lives, and a web icon that tells you that you just picked up the spider. I know that the spider has a name, but I can't remember it for the life of me, and I'm probably going to have to add it in when I edit this video. Anyway, we need to start doing a little bit of platforming so that way we can get to places. And while it is tempting and I do want to explore these areas a little bit, I'm not going to pick up absolutely everything. Thankfully you can duck down and shoot if you need to. I'm not going to try to get everything, as I said earlier, because some areas are harder to reach than others. And I do want to make sure I get through here with as little trouble as I can and we need to make a big jump here thankfully I made that jump made it right to the edge and by running into this woman you end stage 1-1 one, one. the number of pans you picked up and the number of enemies you defeated are tabulated at the end of every stage I believe if you pick up 50 bonus bonus items you will get an extra life out of that and I know that if you beat up a certain amount of enemies. You can also get a 1-up out of that as well. Exploring is important, and if you know what you're doing and you know how to get the places, you can get, find a lot of stuff and make it a little easier on yourself to get through this game. And now it's time for stage 1-2. For this stage, blow darts will be a little more scarce, so you do want to be careful. Also, those are spikes. We are not touching those. And yes, that was a gator over there. We don't want to touch those either. And as much as I would like to go to the right, I don't necessarily feel like doing it. I'm going to go to the left instead. Thankfully, the select button is there to help us look around. There's a bird up there. We could jump up there. But if we walk all the way to the edge, sometimes... There are places where you can walk up to a certain tile and you can activate a bridge. 
managed to get the bird on the first shot. That is what I wanted. You cannot jump on those birds. Not very well. I do not recommend doing it. If I can somehow get the next bird on screen. Yes, there is a bird on the next platform. I will. Ugh. Well, at least we can take a shortcut back. We don't have to take the bridge anymore because we picked up all the things. Let's go ahead and... There we go. We got the bird that time. Now getting on that platform will be a little bit easier. And of course, we still want to pick things up. I am going to try to get all these pans too. And maybe not. Like I said, I'm not going to pick up everything. Oh, come on. If you pick up enough pans, you can get some health restored, which is really good in case you want to make sure that you're playing well and whatnot. And I need to get rid of you because I know you're going to be a pain later. That is a wall. We are not going to run into it because I, we will find out it is a wall. Let's go ahead and grab these pots. And then we're going to look down again. There will be spider down here. Let's go ahead and grab it. By holding down and pressing A, you can use the spider against certain enemies, which is really cool. So if any enemies are giving you a hard time, and you have a hard time trying to get to them. You can use a spider. Just remember that the spider is a one-shot deal. Meaning you can only use it once before you no longer have your have it in your inventory. And you pretty much have to go without it for the rest of the level. And some basic platforming here. Definitely don't want to walk into the spikes. I don't want to find out the hard way that they are instant death. And I barely made it onto that one. Let's go ahead and get some darts out of this snake, shall we? And then get rid of that hedgehog while we can. Alright. Now we have a few more darts. And even more here. Let's go ahead and get those. We don't need to destroy every enemy. Matter of fact, it's best if we don't destroy every enemy. And there is a platform, and there are two gators. Those gators will eat you. Don't drop into them. And here we are. We've made it to stage one, two. We only picked up 18 things, but we beat up more than 10 enemies, which means that we get an extra life. Nice. And that gives us five lives to work with for World 2-1. This time around, we'll be picking up cell phones, picking up little flip phones, and we'll be climbing up a building that is currently under construction. And of course, Mimi Siku dances around if you leave them on screen long enough. We will climb up this building, but we will have to do that in the next video. Join me next time where we take on World 2 of Uninjan Dunlavi. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!